So the first card is the box, which says you are receiving some sort of gift uh, in this box. And you've got the rooster. You might be dealing with a very arrogant, boastful person uh, that you really shouldn't cross. So somebody that you're dealing with uh, who's giving you a little bit of grief, but really, you know, not not something that you should retaliate. Um, just, you know, let them say what they have to say and move on. Uh, don't don't get involved with them in uh, as such. Um, so right now you've become very goal orientated and you are setting your sights on something, and so you're learning. You are starting to refocus your attention on on the target. So uh, maybe you have a new goal in mind, and that's what you are are trying to um, gear all your energies towards. So in the past, you've got the dagger, fears and worries, and a tense situation. So you might have been dealing with some a kind of a disruption in your life, and it looks like there was a lot of backstabbing as well involved in that. And this has caused a lot of fear and worry on your part. Now you've got the goldfish following that, so there's an increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. So maybe all these problems that you've been dealing with has caused a lot of growth spiritually. You may have had some sort of windfall as well, some money coming in with this fish. Usually the fish card indicates some kind of uh, windfall coming in. So going to the future, there's some event that you probably will be attending. There's a gong event. So it looks like a, there, you know, there may be an announcement during this event, but some sort of um, maybe a party or celebration that you're attending where some information comes to light. And then you've got the turkey over here that uh, you, there's somebody around you that's not really behaving well, uh, uh, you know, behaving like a turkey. So uh, somebody behaving, behaving very stupidly and you might be dealing with this person at this particular moment. So um, uh, two good cards here as uh, receiving some sort of gift and attending some exciting event. And whatever person that you're dealing with, maybe the rooster is actually the turkey, uh, somebody behaving very arrogantly and they're not, behaving very nicely so uh, just ignore them and you know you've got just your your focus you're you're getting your focus in order right now learning to focus your attention on your goals and that is a really good place to be so the main energies is the chariot and it looks like there will be achievement this is an achievement card uh, but there's some sort of sacrifice that will you know it's usually after sacrifice of sorts this man has lost his arm uh, I'm not saying that you will, but it's just that he's made a sacrifice and that is how he's achieved his goal. So you are moving forward. A lot of hard work and effort will have to go into this project that you're doing, but you will achieve success. Uh, that will come to you. That is a given. <coughs> and you are moving forward quite quickly. So uh, whatever, um, you know, you're very determined. This is a card of great determination. And, um, and like I said, it's a card of achievement, which is after all this hard work, that's exactly what you want to hear, that there will be success. Uh, despite all the pitfalls, despite all the problems that you've been through, you are going to be successful. So uh, what's going on with you? You've got the High Priestess and you've got um, the Ace of Frauds. So uh, you're waiting for some news to come in. Uh, you can see she's sitting over here, you know, looking really uh, a bit uh, concerned. Uh, you know, she's fretting over whatever she's waiting for. So, you know, maybe whatever your uh, whatever news you're waiting for, whatever changes you're waiting for is making you very, very anxious. Uh, and, you know, you are trying to keep it all in, bottled in, because the high priestess, she never ever usually talks about how she feels about things. She keeps everything inside. And, uh, you know, with a high priestess, she is uh, uh, the queen that follows the moon. So she is somebody that relies on her intuition. And Pisces is a very, very intuitive sign. And it is something uh, that you need to learn to do if you're not doing it already, is to follow your intuition now. So you're waiting for something to come in, uh, some sort of information, um, something. You're waiting on the cycles. And it looks like it is going to come in because you've got the Ace of Rods crossing it over here. And this is showing news. You can see this man is blowing this trumpet over here. And this man is holding this new uh, mistletoe over here. So a new project, something new coming in and something that is very healing for you. Uh, so whatever you're expecting looks like it's going to happen and it's going to be very, very good news. Uh, something very, some new brand new thing beginning for you. A new um, project, some new inspiration, some new enterprise. So a new pathway in life opening up. So you just have to have that little bit of patience because the um, High Priestess does talk about patience and that will come in for you. So in the past uh, year, you have been... Um, Maybe you got a new job offer that came in and you've been working very hard uh, at your job over here. You can see this man is bringing this man news or giving him this this um, rod, um, a rock thing, which is like, looks like a little egg. 
and he's giving it over to him. Um, and that shows that, you know, maybe you've been involved in some sort of business deals and working pretty hard at your job and you may have received some kind of offer uh, to start something new. Um, and now you've got the, in the last three months, you've got the uh, Empress over here, which is showing prosperity after a lot of hard work and a lot of defense. Because she is a, a bit of a warrior, so she, um, warrior as in a fighting queen. So, you know, you can see that, you know, she has fought for what she's wanted. And nothing came easy to her. Um, and now she can, she's got a lot of abundance. So you've been getting news of some abundance coming in for you after you've had, a, you know, you've had to fight for it. You've got, had, a, a, you know, maybe you've had some problems with money because you've got this uh, coins or gold in this um, crow's mouth. So it looks like, you know, you've had some pitfalls, uh, some falls, pitfalls with money where there's been problems with it, but now it is now working out and the abundance is coming. And, you know, you have your, ha your feet now on stable ground, so you are now getting sorted slowly. Um, and, you know, it's a time for, for you to have some kind of, um, you know, pat yourself on the back, have some sort of celebration that things are starting to go your way. Abundance is coming your way slowly. And now it looks like, you know, there's something new that is going to come. Maybe it's, this is an offer, but something new opening, some new brand new cycle opening. Even though it might seem a bit stagnant right now, it looks like things are going to start moving. Now you want achievement. You've got the King of Pentacles over here on your uh, mind. So that means that, you know, you want to achieve things. Uh, you want to reach uh, a point where, you know, you are in charge of things and you are, um, you, know, you have that wealth, you have that stability. You can see there's a lot of rocks that there's a, a long road uh, which you came, there's a lot of obstacles that you had to come through, but now you're finally at the end of it and, uh, you know, you are close to achieving your goals and that's what you are hoping to achieve soon. So you've got the Eight of Rods over here. There might be some family celebrations coming in over here, getting together with people, having a lot of communication going on over here with this Eight of Rods. You can see there's like parties and we're entering into December. So this is probably a, a period where you will have a lot of networking and meeting a lot of people and they might be people that make a big difference in your life. So maybe this new cycle that is opening up for you with this Ace of Rods is going to lead you to meeting a lot of people, a communicate, network with a lot of people. So what's happening with you? Um, you're at a point where maybe you are going through an assessment uh, at work. You've got a lot of people criticizing whatever work you've been doing. You're presenting your case to people as well. So this is going on around you. Uh, you're not too keen on it. Uh, this is the five of uh, rods over here. So maybe they're, they're just being very critical or may, maybe just being a bit silly um, about what they're saying. But, you know, they're definitely going through your work with a fine tooth comb and you're having to present it. So this... Looks like it's like some sort of job assessment that you're going through at the moment. So what's uh, going on around you? You've been working a lot. Maybe you're team working and learning your trade, learning your, uh, you know, learning in that kind of process and very, very focused on your work. Um, you know, and also learning how to communicate your ideas across. So I've been working extremely hard, maybe becoming an expert in the field that you're doing and very focused on your work as well. And it's been very, very hard work. So what's uh, you're worried about? So there might be some opposition that you're facing in your work situation here. Uh, you can see this, there's competition going on over here. And maybe somebody's uh, giving you grief as far as moving forward, presenting some problems. And this is what's been on playing on your mind, um, you know, that this person might be better than you. Uh, and there, there's a bit of conflict that is going on in your work situation as well. So going into the future, you've got the Three of Cups. Um, you've got the devil card over here and you've got the two of cups. So with the three of cups, it looks like, uh, you know, lots of celebrations, meeting people, networking, uh, um, you know, meeting people in your work situation as well. Um, so it looks like a, a little bit of a party, some sort of celebrations going on and you might be attending a lot of parties. Remember, don't overindulge and make sure that uh, you are aware if it's an office party, this is an opportunity for you to network make contacts in order for you to move forward. So use these times um, as uh, stepping stones uh, in order to progress in your career. Uh, and, you know, not to do something silly, but rather to use it as a, uh, as a, as a process in which you move forward. So, you know, uh, be very smart about how you communicate with people because you want to leave an impression on them and uh, you want them to be, these might be the people that will be instrumental in uh in your future progress so be aware of that because you can see there's a big doorway over here so it looks like these people that you're meeting are going to be people that give you that stability and allow you to move forward um, and open doors for you so be aware of that 
So you've got the um, the devil card over here being very focused on your work. Maybe you're just getting through the mundane of, of your job, you know, doing the day-to-day -day tasks. And maybe it's not paying very well and maybe you're feeling very, very restricted as well. But you, these are things that you need to get through. Uh, and it, there is a lot of focus on work, so you will need to focus on it. Uh, it seems like it, it, it does tend to tie you up, but this is how you're going to move forward. Um, and you will be meeting a lot of people um, through your work situation. You meet some somebody who will be very, very supportive, uh, you know, a very, very good friend, somebody who allows you, uh, who's supportive of you, but allows you to move forward and brings in that stability. So meeting somebody at work whom you befriend, um, you know, almost a soulmate connection with this person. Uh, I say that it's wor at work because it's following the devil card. The devil card is usually um, a card that's ruled by Capricorn and that indicates work, Saturn. So this person that you're meeting, don't overindulge with them. Uh, it's not They're not drinking buddies. If you uh, play your cards right, there are people that will help you move forward in life. So, you know, just make sure that it's all, uh, you know, th that you're not... Um, going down the route where you're, um, you know, overindulging, because this can also show with the devil and uh, the two of cups showing, you know, uh, drinking too much or um, doing things that are really, um, really shouldn't be um, done. And, you know, although it's nice to go out, uh, but going overboard is not something that you should um, entertain at this particular moment. Make sure that you're keeping a clear head um, and don't overindulge. Um, especially, you know, they might have long-term repercussions and you really don't want that to happen. Um, even though this is the Christmas period and it is a period of, you know, celebration, uh, this could end up like looking bad on your record. Uh, so make sure that you're not doing that, uh, not overindulging. Um, with the devil card, it, you know, it shows that there's an addiction of sorts. So don't get into that kind of phase where you're, you're, you're just, you know, over partying and not concentrating on the work. So you need to take the focus off that and start focusing on the work situation and know that the people that you meet um, today are the people that are going to determine your future tomorrow. So make sure that you're leaving a good impression. So you've got the Three of Spring over here, which says stop to take time to review and make long-term plans, capitalizing upon your past successes. It's appropriate to put yourself on the back of all your accomplishments Sorry, it's appropriate to pat yourself on the back um, for all your past accomplishments, but you may also need patience for the new phase to play out. So uh, it looks, um, this is the Three of Spring. You need to make some long-term plans. This is usually uh, the Three of Wands. So make some plans for the future and know that, you know, whatever you do is going to pay out, but you're now going entering into the second phase. So, you know, the, the, the Three of Wands shows the first phase is complete, and now you will progress to um, making these plans uh, a reality. And the second one is the Eight of Winter, which says it is easy to convince yourself that you are trapped when you really aren't. Trust that God will lift you to new heights and give you a greater self-confidence if you affirm your freedom. So if you're feeling a bit restricted, you're not. So, it's not so. There is, uh, you know... Uh, a release coming so you know you are free to do whatever you want be careful of people that are gossiping around you people saying things uh, behind your back don't divulge information that doesn't need to be div divulged to people but if you're feeling stuck you'll soon um, become unstuck if you like uh, coming out of that cage but you must think positive don't let your uh, negative thoughts uh, restrict you and you've got the five of autumn over here says focusing upon the negative and worrying about money or your career can block your progress. Um, because your trust and faith are at a low point right now, it is not the best time to start your own business or become self-employed. So any kind of um, depression or negative thinking that you got going on, because, you know, with the devil card, there can also be a lot of negative thinking, feeling very restricted. You need to start um, saying things that are positive, making positive affirmations uh, in order for you to move forward. Because this negative affirmations, if you're having this depression, should actually uh, will actually produce negative manifestations. So if you say, I can do it, then you can do it. And if you say, I can't do it, then obviously you won't be able to do it. Uh, so you need to actually start making some positive affirmations and thinking positively in order for you to move forward. Even if it, it looks like things are very stagnant, uh, these are just temporary energies and they will move. So you need to know that this, the wheel of fortune is turning all the time. So it is taking us in and out of positive and negative energies. And, you know, where we're going through a low cycle right now, you will end up 
the wheel has to turn and you have to go into a higher cycle. So just remember that negativity, but during the low cycles, it's not nice to even talk about negativity. You don't want to affirm negativity. So even when you're going through low cycles, you need to affirm positivity in order to for you to move forward. So that's very important. You need to stop being negative. Know that something new is coming in for you. Um, in this period, try not to overdo it. And take it easy. You are going through some sort of uh, um, assessment over here. Uh, it looks like it all will work out um, because there's no negative cards after that. If you're having any kind of problems with people, uh, you know, this is just a fear that should actually sort itself out. And there are lots of, uh, you know, getting togethers and gatherings. And it looks like, you know, you are going to meet a lot of people and something brand new beginning for you as far as, uh, you know, work or enterprise and maybe a new project coming in for you. And you are sitting and waiting for that. So with this achievement card, um, you know, you will, this chariot card is a card of achievement. You will achieve whatever you want to, but you need to take it easy and not be negative about everything that is going on around you. Just be very positive, say a lot of positive affirmations and don't allow yourself to get down and depressed if everything seems a little bit stagnant right now. These energies will shift.